Hello homeowners and subscribers, thanks for coming back to see me again. I wanna to talk today about your garage door and all the noise it makes, the squeaks, and what my plan is gonna to be to help reduce that noise because it's definitely very annoying. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is walk you through where the noise comes from on your garage doors, and then we'll go into each step on what you can do to eliminating that noise. All right, the number one source for the noise that you're gonna experience with your garage door is your actual opener. And this one is fairly noisy. It's a screw drive. And as the, uh, the door starts to, to raise, it, there's a lot of contact with the screw drive. And there's, this is a heavy source of no noise right now. Now I've got a video that I'm gonna to link to up here in the corner where I change out this, uh, this garage door opener to one that was a belt drive, much, much quieter. It's like night and day difference. But that's, again, just one source of the noise. and The rest of it's coming from your door. Now with most of these doors, you have a lot of metal to metal contact, right? You've got these hinges here where everything uh, opens and closes and you've got metal rubbing against metal. And, but then another big source of the noise would be the, uh, the wheels here. Okay, and as these things bump up against these, these things are made of metal, and they're hitting you know metal channel here, and it's it's making a lot of noise. And then also within there, you can hear that jiggling right here. Okay, metal against metal. So we're going to try to eliminate as much of that as possible. The other thing is is you're going to have pulleys, depending on the, your garage door, you might have various numbers of pulleys. Those things can be a source of noise. If the bearings in the middle start to get worn, you'll get noise there. So those things you might have to change out. You need to inspect those. So let's talk first about swapping out these. I'm gonna show you what I have. So what I'm doing is I'm replacing the uh, garage door rollers with these new uh, nylon ones. This is not metal. So even though it will make contact with the rail, and will make noise, it'll make less noise. It also has very quiet ball bearings in here, so you hear nothing when it spins. Now, the other part of it is, as I showed you when I wiggled the, the uh, old ones that are currently installed in there, that it was making noise because you had metal to metal contact. So I went ahead and pre-dipped this into a plasti dip, okay? Something that you use to, um, to coat your tool handles. Looks like this, this one's used. I've got uh, the lid back on here. So I coated it, dipped it once. This is a black, not too much because it can't get too thick where you cannot fit it back into the hinge, okay? You don't have to use this stuff. You can try anything, maybe one thin layer of electrical tape. I kind of like this better. Um, you might even be able to find the right gauge wire pull the wire out and just use the rubber jacket that you could slide on here if that'll fit in back into the hinge pin. So um, this is gonna help keep it quiet as well. So what we're gonna do is install some of these in my garage door. I'm gonna replace them all, but you're gonna watch me do one or two. And then um, we're gonna then move on to the next step. By the way, if you wanna buy those nylon uh, rollers, I'm gonna link to them down below in the uh, description. Also the plastic dip too, if you can't find that, I'll put the link for that down below. So we just need to remove these four uh, bolts and um, we'll be able to uh, get this thing off. Now before you take it off, pay attention to exactly how it's positioned. You don't want to put it back upside down when you return it. Okay, so here's the old pin. It's pretty greasy in there. I'm gonna put the new pin and roller in. I have to push it a little bit because of the plastic dip on there. There we go. Okay. Gonna reinstall it like this. You put this in first, and then you can go put the uh, the little bolts back. Okay.
Okay, this one's installed, and uh, we're, I'm gonna do the rest of them. Now, here's an important thing to note. Do you see this uh, cable in the back? This is the cable that goes all the way around to the spring, and it attaches to the one here on the bottom, the, uh, the hinge pin here that, that holds the roller at the bottom. This is what I'm talking about right here. It's connecting to this piece. We gotta get this off first before we take this one out. Okay, so now I've got all of the rollers changed out. Um, let me take, let's take a look at it. Okay, see here? They're already getting dirty. Had to open and close the garage door once or twice. Uh, and uh, in a couple of instances, it was a little bit too thick in the back. So I had to trim off the plastic dip in the back, but it's all inside here where it needs to be. Okay. Now, we talked about what else can we do to uh, make this quiet. So the, uh, the first thing that I like to do is take uh, garage door lube and only put that inside the tracks where these uh, rollers might touch, okay? So just do a very thin application like this. Okay, all the way down on both tracks. Now the next thing is, is we talked about how the hinges rub. So all of these bend points, you've got these two pieces of metal that are gonna rub against each other. Here, here, and in the center, here, these points, okay? So what we're gonna use is uh, white lithium grease. Got it on a spray here. Just shake it up and you want to get it inside everything and when you're done you can wipe off the excess because it's going to be running down your garage door so we're going to do this to all of them anywhere we have this hinge point You can also hit your pulleys if you feel, feel like you need to. All right, so now um, that worked out really well. You heard noise when I opened the garage door, but that was the overhead, the actual door opener, which I will swap out just like we did in the other video. There was no noise coming from the hinges and the, in the, uh, and the rollers. So uh, I feel like this was really helpful and successful because before that, there was definitely more door noise, noise coming. So um, again, down in the link below, you can find the rollers that I used and the grease that I used. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Otherwise, I appreciate you hit the like button if you thought the video was interesting, was helpful. That'll help me. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time.